Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Emmet for Vim without using a plugin manager like Vimplug. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install software on Chrome OS or on Windows, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get to the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a directory, and I'm going to make a nested directory. So to do that, I'm going to do mkdir-p, that'll help me get a nested directory. And I'm going to do .vim, then the next directory has to be pack, and then the next directory after that, you can name whatever you want, but I'm going to name it plugins, which typically makes sense. And then the directory after that, you have to name start, okay? So now I'm going to change into that directory. So I'm going to change into vim dot vim slash pack slash plugins slash start and what I want to do now is I want to open a new browser window and I want to search for Emmet Vim because I'm looking for that GitHub repository. So I'm going to click on the first thing that comes up. This is Matt N Emmet dash Vim. I'm going to go to the code, make sure it's it's on HTTPS. I'll copy that. And then when I'm in this directory, I'm going to do git clone and control shift V to paste this in and hit enter. And that's going to clone everything in there. I'm going to just type CD to get back to my main home directory. And now let's make a test file. So I'm going to do vim test.html. Okay. I'm going to go to insert mode with I and then do an exclamation point and then control Y comma. And you'll see there, I get that Emmet expansion where it gives me that framework, right? So I could do H1, control Y, comma, I get an H1, so on and so forth, okay? So Emmet is working. And that's pretty much it. So if this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Thanks for watching.